everyone, Garrett here from Naked and Famous Denim. Today we're going to be looking at my faded pair of MIJ13 Okayama Spirit Kuros. Um, I always forget when I do say MIJ13, what does that mean? MIJ13 means made in Japan. So these are made in Japan jean from Naked and Famous Denim. They are my personal pair. Uh, but before we get into it, don't forget, please like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. All right. So Okayama Spirit Kuro. First of all, let's just talk about the name. What does Kuro mean? So Kuro basically just means black in Japanese. And as you can tell, these are a very black pair of jeans. They're the 13th in the Made in Japan series. And I've been fading them for about four months. They came in late October and I've been wearing them pretty much daily since. Um, so let's take a look at them. First of all, we'll go over the tag. So this is the True Guy Fit MIJ13. Okay, I'm a spirit. Actually, this one says black, but it's okay, I'm a spirit Kuro. And tag size 30. Start from the front here. So the, this pair I've been wearing actually a lot while bouldering. If you follow my Instagram, uh, sometimes you might see my stories and I'm always wearing my jeans when I'm bouldering and it really kind of speeds up the fading process. These, again, I've only been wearing them for about four months, but they still have a lot more to go. So this is kind of just like a little taste to show you what they will start to look like, but over time, they're gonna get a lot more faded. They're gonna um, evolve a lot more. So let's just take a look at the details. Starting from the very top here, I'm noticing there's a little bit of brassing on the black iron buttons here. It's kind of a copper color showing through here. That's probably because I was, you know, rubbing up against the wall, which is very abrasive uh, at the bouldering gym. You can see the 100% copper rivets. No rusting or crazy patina on those. I wear these a little bit oversized. So you can see they're kind of folding up a little bit here and because of that then we've got raised areas with fading a little bit of fading on the raised belt loops here as well i use my pockets a lot so i'm always you know putting things in and out you can see on the pocket of the coin pocket there a lot of fading here and then also on the left pocket again quite a bit of fading here for me just pulling my hand in and out i do carry a knife usually on this pocket here but there's no um no evidence of that actually moving down Quite a bit of fading on the fly placket here, just in the this lower center region. Got a little bit of combs showing up here. These are worn a little bit looser, so the combs are not gonna be as defined. And like I said, they've only been worn for about four months. So as time goes on, these are gonna get a lot more defined, but we can see a little bit of combs and details coming in here. Next, we'll go down to the lap area, which I really love this graininess, the slubbiness of the yarn, it really shows, it's almost, I wouldn't call it flamey, but it's got a, a real kind of staticky, almost rainfall appearance on this, uh, these black yarns here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. The crotch, still in fabulous condition, which is what I'd expect for a jean only worn for four months. And I do wear these a little bit on the looser side, so there's not a lot of stress on the crotch at all. Okay, going down to the bottom here. This is where there's a lot of fading on these jeans. You can see here the yarns are gone all the way to white in this area. And that is because when I climb, sometimes I'm doing um, knee bars, which is, is basically where you're, you're shoving your, your foot and your knee against something and then using that to, to push and to hold yourself up. And that causes a lot of abrasion, a lot of wear and tear on the knee area. So the knees are the most faded area of these jeans. Going down to the bottom here, not not a whole lot to speak of down here. You can see the leg twist quite clearly. So here's the, um, the inseam on one. And then over here, you can see there's the outseam on there. So the MIJs are all uh, tempi treated, which is basically like a one swash. So that means that uh, the fabric uh, be before it's sewn is on sand fries. And then afterwards, it gets a one swash and then the legs are going to twist, which is you know, some people, it's kind of a love it or hate it. I love it. I really think it's a cool, cool, uh, unique thing that shows that they are authentic. It's done the old school way. So I do really like the leg twist and you can see it very clearly here. All right. So going down to the cuffs, you can see my selvage here has kind of been pushed over. So let's move that over. You can actually see the fading. It's been like that for so long. It's faded a little bit on the edge. 
It's a little bit dirty on the selvage because I wear these with boots and you know I, I oil the boots and they get a little bit you know a little bit of that oil rubs off on the inside of the pant. We do have some roping, some gray roping. Again, you can see kind of that dirt um, and dust has, has been rubbing into the roping area. So it's faded, but also a little bit dirty there. Starting to see a little tear on this area of the roping. Chain stitch here has slightly come undone. The chain stitch is very delicate. So at some point in time, it has gotten caught on something and it did start to unravel. Luckily, I noticed quickly, so I just snipped it away. You can see here that this section chain stitch is missing, but it's still holding together. So I'll just leave it as is for now. And I kind of like that. I like the, the, the denim evolution, you know, as things start to break and rip and tear, I'll leave it until it becomes an issue and, and then I'll get it fixed. Also here, you can see I've cuffed it a few times. And, and because of that, there's these little lines of faded areas here because of the cuffing. That being said, most of the time when I wear these, I don't wear them cuffed. They're pretty much the perfect inseam length for me, so I don't cuff them. All right, so let's take a look at the back. Now the back, there's not a whole lot going on, um, but we'll just start at the top here. Here's the patch, and you can see it's starting to kind of fade away and chip a little bit. I have washed these about five times, and I also do put them in the dryer, which generally we don't recommend but uh, they're my jeans, so I can do what I want, and I like to put them in the dryer. And the result is that your patch will start to, um, it will start to kind of crack and little pieces will fall off. Anyways, it doesn't really bother me, but uh, that's what's be happening there. Also on the um, raised belt loops, you can see quite a bit of fading here on that. The raised belt loops is something that we do for the MIJ series, and you can see it on all of them there. Again, that's just because it's rubbing up against something more uh, than say the waistband here. On the yoke, not a whole lot to speak of except for uh, this kind of crease here. I'm guessing this is because I wear them a little bit big and it kind of like cinches in like this at the back. Again, here you can see also this wrinkle here um, that uh, is probably because I wear them just a little bit big. Moving down to the back pockets, of course, a little bit of fading a little bit of abrasion on the seat. Back pocket embroidery is holding up perfectly. Uh, right here on the bottom of the seat area is probably where the most fading is on the back. And that's just because of me, you know, sliding around on my butt. And uh, the bouldering gym is, is quite abrasive. The walls there are basically like sandpaper. So if you do any, if you slide on anything, uh, it'll fade it very quickly. All right, now coming down to the combs, uh, not a lot to speak of here yet, since they're only in their fourth month. Like I said, I faded these mainly just wearing them in the office and at the bouldering gym. And when I'm at the bouldering gym, I'm predominantly facing the wall. Um, so the back of the jeans don't really get any uh, fading from that. And in the office, there's not a lot that would fade the combs. So the combs still coming along. Again, they're, they're going to be probably more of a vintage fade just because I do wash them quite a bit. And uh, yeah, down at the bottom here, a little bit of stacking fade, it looks like. And uh, right here where you can see the, the leg opening here has been rubbing together a little bit at the bottom. So I think that does it for this pair. I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of how the MIJ-13 is going to fade. So if you want to get a pair, I, I definitely recommend it. I think they're a really nice black jean. Nice mid-weight, very comfortable. I can wear them every day no matter what the season is, no problem. So that's the MIJ-13. Don't forget, if you have a pair of jeans that you are no longer wearing that are faded, please send us an email to info at nakedandfamousdenim.com. If you have a faded pair, we'll take a look at the photos. If we like it, we can bring it in and we can trade you a discount code for your next pair of jeans. All right, so that does it for today. Please make sure you like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.